Hi guys, my name is Peyton Sarton. If you're new here, and if you're a returning subscriber, you know I already love you. So as you might have noticed by the title, I am taking y'all around Palm Beach, Florida this week. I'm here visiting my boyfriend, Joe. So Joe plays baseball and he is in Palm Beach for spring training right now. That means he will be here for about two months and he'll be busy literally every single day. I think he has three days off in the next two months. And then he will go to DC where he plays. He plays for the Nationals there and he'll be there for like six months. He's just kind of all over the place. So that being said, I got my time in where I made Joe come visit me. And now for the next eight months or so, I'm gonna have to go visit him if I wanna see him. So here I am in Palm Beach. Also to note, because I am visiting Joe, um, I can't really follow the rules that Florida has in place for COVID. Like one of the big ones is people are allowed to eat inside here, but major league rules for spring training say that the boys cannot eat inside. There's a bunch of different rules they have to follow to make sure that no one gets COVID. He gets tested every single morning, which also means that I have to follow these rules so that no one else gets COVID too. So I got tested before I got here and now I'm in beautiful Palm Beach. So I'm gonna be laying low a little bit, but I'm still gonna show y'all around. We can go eat outside, we can get stuff for takeout. Joe and I are gonna spend some time together and I have convinced him to be in some of this vlog. Um, so this is wonderful news for all of us. Before we get started with everything, I wanted to mention that this vlog is sponsored by Princess Polly, my dream vlog partnership. I literally wear all Princess Polly at this point, so this is very easy for me. Cut to the haul. Okay, so first things first, I wanna hop into this Princess Polly haul just so I can show you guys what I'll be wearing throughout the course of the video. As you may have noticed, if you followed me for a little bit now, I live in Princess Polly. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to work with them pretty consistently, but also I just buy stuff from them literally all the time. So I do have a promo code for y'all. It's PSXX, all caps, and you can use that to get 20% off site-wide. I actually just ordered this gorgeous pair of heels that I just had to have, but I stalked the site like yesterday and just ordered them. I'll put a little picture of them here. Um, you also have to have them. So those aren't here, but I needed to mention those for starters. I also kind of wish I'd order them to Florida because they would look really cute with this top. Okay. Oh, a very important thing to note, Princess Polly offers free express shipping, so like two day shipping within the US on orders over $50. Also, Princess Polly offers afterpay to all US customers as well. Okay, so let's get started with this haul. All right, first I have this top. I'm very into this tie dye moment that I'm having here right now. Also, hello, look at the back of this. I got this top in a size US 2. And then I'm also wearing these jeans and I'm gonna keep these on for a couple of the tops that I'm gonna show you. So these are a straight leg fit jean, which is super in right now. They're kind of frayed at the ends and they're a high waist. These are a size US 2 as well. Okay, next I have to show you all this because this is, I think is my favorite thing. Oh my, this is my favorite thing of the whole haul. So it's like a vegan leather jacket. It's a little oversized. This is actually an extra small and I, <laughs> I have never loved a jacket more. I have some somewhat expensive leather jackets. This looks more expensive and chic than literally any of them. You need this. I don't wanna hear any arguments about it. You need it. This is my favorite thing ever. Okay, next, kinda of going along with the tie-dye theme, I have this green dress. This is a size two. I actually have this in blue too, so I have multiples. <laughs> Again, it's almost embarrassing how much stuff I, um, just from Princess Polly using my own discount code, okay? This is definitely one of my favorite finds. It would also look super cute with that jacket over it. Please hold. Y'all, so cute. Okay, so this one is really a fan favorite. I feel like a cute little dreamsicle in this. Y'all, it's perfect for summertime. I'm probably going to overwear this so much. I actually have something very similar to this, but it's all like tones of pink and it's also from Princess Polly as per usual. So I have this in the size small medium. I style this with like some Converse or something. You could also dress it up a little bit if you wanted to. This is just like the perfect summer date night dress. I think she's so cute. So next I'm gonna try on a couple tops for y'all. This top is very like breezy. So I like it for summertime. There's also a ton of ways that I can style this. So like right now I just have it like a couple buttons buttoned up. You could also put like a swimsuit underneath this and wear it open. So it's just kind of like a breezy cover up top, which I really like. I will also unbutton it and like tie it up. It's just very versatile and something really great to have 
in your closet for summertime. I just always find myself reaching for tops like this. And this is also a size US 2. So I've styled this cardigan here with jeans just to like make it casual. I also really like something like this over a swimsuit and maybe like button it up like this and have the swimsuit bottoms on. This whole one button cardigan vibe is definitely my favorite. This is a size small by the way. This might be one of my favorite things too. Look at this cute brown toned crop top. So one, I love anything this color right now. I'm loving the browns, I'm loving the earth tones. Again, so comfortable. Like, I have not tried on one thing that wasn't actually comfortable to wear. I'm loving the sleeves on this. You just tie them up. You can adjust them in terms of how tight you want them. But that's such a cute little added, like, feminine chic moment that we're having here with the sleeves. This is also a must, I think. Okay, last but definitely not least, my cool girl outfit. So let's start with the pants. So they're a bit flared at the bottom, um, but this actually unties. So you could like do a, a bow right here in the front, or you can do what I did, and I like kind of crisscross them, and then I tie it in the back. And by the way, I got these pants in a size four, and they fit flawlessly. And then I've got this flannel going on. So Princess Polly has some really good flannels. This one is a size two, and I'm definitely gonna be repeat wearing this one because it's just like the black and white can go with basically everything. And that is the end of my Princess Polly haul. Remember that everything is going to be linked below and I will leave my sizes below for reference so you don't have to like keep going through the video to find them. Remember that my code is PSXX and you can use that for 20% off site-wide. And y'all will see these outfits in action throughout the video. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. Y'all know I'd be wearing these outfits anyway, so this works out really well. All right, so let's get back to the video. All right, I'm back in my sunshine room. So I've actually been here for a couple days already. I wanted to take the first couple of days of my visit to just hang out and spend some quality time with Joe. One of the first nights I was here, we decided to celebrate a late Valentine's Day. So I wore this cute little Princess Polly knit dress and my sneakers. Okay, so we're headed to dinner. This is Joe's portion of tonight. I hope he chose well. If he didn't, that's okay. I'll just break up with him. So Joe took me to dinner and we went to this cute little spot in Palm Beach and they had really good martinis and we had a really great spot outside away from a lot of people. So that kind of narrowed down how many places we could choose because we had to find somewhere with like open seating outside away from everyone. <laughs> But we got a cute little table on the corner. I had some martinis and some really good seafood. And then I surprised Joe with my big surprise of the night. Joe and I started dating at the beginning of quarantine last year and we have not been to a movie together because of that because like obviously everything's been shut down. So I surprised him with a private showing at the movie theater. Cinemark allows you to rent theaters out for private showings and it's actually very affordable. It's like between $100 and $150. And I thought this was such a good idea. It's such a good idea for any of you who want to have a date night like this or do something with like a small group of your friends or your family or something. Because again, it is COVID approved and you can choose from a ton of different movies. So go on Cinemark and you can look on their website to like find out more information about that. Also, you can like pre-order your concessions. So our concessions were actually just waiting for us in the theater when we went in there. We barely even saw anyone else at all. Like I saw someone at the beginning, I had to scan my little barcode and then you just go in and you're alone. So it was great. We watched School of Rock. Joe has never seen that movie and I always reference it. So I thought it was the perfect choice. But anywho, I'm here now and I'm ready to start this week's vlog. Today I got up pretty leisurely. I did a little workout as I have been doing lately. I am staying in this cute little house that Joe has for the next two months. He actually has practice every morning from like 7ish, 7.30ish to about, I don't know, one or two-ish. So I am just doing my own thing pretty much all morning and into the afternoon, which I love. Yo, look how cute this little chair is. It's actually gigantic. You can't really tell like for reference the size, but it's, this is so Florida. All right, so I'm back. I threw a little makeup on for photos, but I put on this little cardigan. This is from Princess Polly. I also have these jeans from Princess Polly. I'm probably going to like roll them down a little bit for the photo, but we'll see. And now I'm off to the beach to try to get this photo. Joseph has returned. He 
sitting in his gaming chair. Come to my home. <laughs> this is what he does. He goes to practice and he comes and sits right here and I do my work and this is so far a daily routine. Don't you have more work to do today? <laughs> so many more hours of work to do today. <laughs> no, it's Saturday. I already worked. Saturday, 2.30. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go eat. Route to find food because I am hangry. And if Joe doesn't feed me in five seconds, I might bite his head off. Where are we going to lunch? What's it called? Uh, the Cooper. The Cooper. It's so windy out here, guys. It's oddly cold, but we're cold and warm at the same time. I am starting with this cauliflower with sweet and sour sauce on it, so it's like fried cauliflower. Joe got the lobster best to start. You just grab the biggest one. I like that one. Good. I'm trying Joe's lobster best. That was the word. We'll be back with the main course. <laughs> Joseph got this beautiful tuna poke ball. Gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. <laughs> and I got the Greek pie or the Greek chicken payard salad. How is it? Really good. Very good, yeah. <laughs> okay, is it thinly sliced? Or are they feeding the meat? They're beating their meat. No, I, are they? Are they beating the meat? I, I have to know. They're beating the meat back there, Joe. That's gross. Big flip flops and sweatpants guy. All right, we're up and at him. It's 8.30 p.m. <laughs> We're going into Publix to get some oyster fixins. So we have a favorite place in San Francisco that does these amazing grilled oysters. So we're gonna try to do some baked oysters and see if they taste like the same kind of thing. So we're just gonna wing it and find a recipe online, but we have to find oysters first. So we've got some parsley, shallots, lemon. We don't have any oysters here, so we have to go somewhere else. Let's hope we can find them tonight. We're at our second location. Well, that was a quick trip because there were no oysters in there. So now we're on to another Publix. So change of plans. We could not find any oysters. So we got everything else that we need and we're gonna get oysters. We're gonna do it tomorrow is what we decided. We found this little restaurant when we were driving. It's, it's called Cafe Chardonnay. And we were like, that place is a vibe for sure. And it's super close to Publix. So we just came and got a table here before it closed. They also have Oysters Rock Cellar here, which is baked oysters. So I'm really getting my fix. Look at the vibes, guys. Look at all the vibes in there. I got a glass of Chardonnay at Cafe Chardonnay, cause duh. All right, I got my baked oysters. This is Oysters Rockefeller. Okay, so I got the tuna two ways. This looks bomb. And Joe over here. Rack of lamb. Got the rack of lamb, Mr. Protein Guy. Okay. All right, so I put on my Princess Polly look. 
It is now um, almost 4 p.m. Uh, Joe was getting a solid nap in while I was working, uh, but I put this on with my Jordans, and this is my outfit for the day. Okay, so we made it to Delray Beach, and how long of a drive is that? 30 minutes. Joe is going to make a phone call, so I'm gonna try to get a photo. So I made him park where there's kind of like a palm tree and this whole vibe back here. And I'm gonna try to get a picture in this outfit while he makes his call. All right, we stopped at this place, Cabana. I got one of their famous mojitos. Joe grabbed a beer and now we're just having these plantain chips and some guacamole. Obviously we've really enjoyed the guac. Here's my salad and I also got some rice over here. What'd you get, paella? Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna have some of that. The stand is my favorite part. <laughs> I could watch that all day. <laughs> There's a candy shop in the very back hiding from me. That's all I want. This is Joe's favorite candy. This is crack. What? I just won the penis game. No, she didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> penis. That's not louder than me. The point is to be louder. Penis. That was louder. Man. That's very inappropriate. <laughs> you better say it. She's so childish. <laughs> You're just mad that I want it. No. I just gotta wait for the right opportunity. Is that a club? Blue raspberry sour. I've got a little sour cherry. I like this one better than the sour blue raspberry thing. Good morning everyone. I'm the greasiest girl in the world. Look at this. Do you like it? Um, I'm driving with Joe early this morning goes to practice so I can take the car today. So here I am at 7 a.m. Rare. All right, he's been dropped off and now it's time for me to go find some coffee. Let's do this. All right, so I got a cold brew with extra almond milk and one Splenda because they didn't have any Stevia. I've been going to the little local coffee shop uh, near the house every day and I really just wanted a Starbucks today because my guy, my bud, doesn't have cold brew. I'll probably go see him later today anyways because it is 7.45 in the morning. <laughs> I have been up at 10 a.m. every single day I've been here. I will say that there's a three hour time difference from here to Los Angeles, so it's taking me a couple days to like get on a schedule. And then when I go back to LA, I'll be waking up early probably, right? That's kind of goals. Um, I also got one of these. Cause I feel like I need some sugars and electrolytes in my body. It's raining, but it's sunny. It's kind of cool, kind of vibey. I like it. I'm gonna go back to the house. I'm going to clean up a little bit just so I can start my day and feel good about it. I'm gonna answer some emails and maybe do a little workout after this hits me and then go take some photos. Okay, so now I need to choose what I'm gonna wear today. I was thinking maybe this green dress, just for like daytime stuff, because it's a little bit warm outside. Wow, it looks like I'm in heaven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I thought I was gonna have all this time to like go shoe and go to the grocery store and all that stuff, but by the time I got home and cleaned up and worked out 
and did my work and like got ready and stuff, it's time for me to go pick Joe up. So I'm gonna go grab him from the fields and then maybe I'll go do all that stuff while he takes a nap or something, we'll see. As you can see, I'm wearing the green tie-dye dress today. I love this dress so much, it really is so comfy. And I just put some sneakers on. This is like the perfect warm weather, kind of elevated casual dress. All right, so I grabbed Joe, finally. I was a little bit late. Someone sent me the wrong address, maybe. We're headed to a healthy bowl place, would you say? Bole, it's like a healthy Chipotle, he says. So we'll see if it stacks up to the real thing. Here is what I got. So I have shrimp, teriyaki chicken, some rice, broccoli. What were they, the cilantro noodles? Yes, like sweet something noodles. Yeah, these look really good. My shrimp is good. Pretty good, right? This is my favorite kind of food. I can like personalize it. It's hearty, a lot of protein, and a lot of flavor. This gets an A plus for me. All right, I've taken the vehicle again. First stop is Publix, because I need some major dry shampoo. And then I am just realized I need to come back here and fix my makeup because it got a little messed up earlier, <laughs> if you know what I mean. All right, I came to this Publix and I asked for oysters and they actually had some. Thank God. We're finally gonna make our oysters tonight, I'm excited. Found a bunch of tan rolls over here. I think they might be nice right here. I just got home from taking those photos. They looked pretty cute. I just found like a plain wall to take photos on. I just threw this outfit on because I have a little bit of a vision for this. They came back and Joe is hyped up on sugar. Super hyped up on sugar. Gaming. Okay, so funny story. Um, after all of that, prepping for the oysters and being excited for them, we've actually had a couple servings of oysters <laughs> since I've been here. So I kind of got my fix already, but then we were kind of determined to do it tonight and we got all the ingredients and then I realized I don't know how to shove oysters. So I looked it up on YouTube and we could not successfully clean the oysters because we don't have any brushes to clean them with. And then I attempted to shove one. Um, with a regular knife and let's just say it's not the least dangerous thing I've ever done in my life And I think that maybe shucking oysters is not for me So I think that maybe baking oysters at home is not for me either one day Joe will shuck an oyster for me That's when I'll know it's real <laughs> And instead of doing that we just ordered from a local place It's apparently very good lots of reviews on Yelp Yelp <laughs> That's how I know if they're good or not. I cannot eat somewhere that has less than a thousand reviews on Yelp. Because I don't trust it. Unless it's the only option. Your whole Yelp protocol is so confusing. It changes by the day. I would say on average, if we're in a touristy town, it needs to have a thousand reviews. But if it has like 400 reviews and it's like four and a half stars, then, and it's like we're already there, then I'll eat there, you know? <laughs> but if it doesn't have a thousand and it has 400 then okay but if it's new and it only has 10 not 10 no never 10 that was was that not good you didn't like it i mean would i would i recommend it to a friend no you're lying no i wouldn't recommend it to a friend the but lamb chop was so good you wouldn't what's what's the difference i wouldn't seek that place out i wouldn't be like let's drive to delray to go to cabana I would never do that. Cabana? That's what it was called. No, no, no. I was talking about the place we went to when we tried to get oysters. The Italian place or whatever? Oh, yeah. Where we no, I wouldn't sweatpants. see that place either. You didn't like that place? It's not that I didn't like it. I wouldn't tell someone. I wouldn't be like, I went to this really great restaurant. You have to go. Okay. Well, so you only eat at like Michelin star restaurants where you tell me. No. Because you have to go there. I, I just mentioned two that I ate at and were fine, but I wouldn't recommend to a friend. So I don't only eat at Michelin star restaurants, obviously. <laughs> this is what I am dealing with. 
Where should we go? Well, <laughs> anyways, so we're gonna go pick up our stuff in a little bit. I got a very, I got a local specialty for my meal, so I'll show you all in a second. Joe got a healthy boy meal. Joe was just told that he's fat by his nutritionist. So now he's eating healthy. No, he can't eat anything that he likes anymore. Berries. No, no rice, no fruit. Rice, no, um, no gluten, no eggs. No eggs. I can't have any potatoes <laughs> or sweet potato. If I couldn't have potatoes or tomatoes or fruit, I'd probably die. Okay, well, we're gonna go get our food in like 20 minutes, so. See you later. So I'm catching up on The Bachelor. Joe is kept getting me up to speed <laughs> because I made him watch it and now he's like, he's like fucking ready. Well now Joe watches it and he's like, did you see it tonight? I'm like, no, I, I forgot. And he's all caught up and I'm just being a bad batch girl, but I've been too busy. Oop, I don't like her either. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about this. I understand that it's annoying if a new girl comes in who hasn't been there. That seems to be the tea this whole season. But wouldn't you want, whether you're, it's a bunch of guys and a new guy comes in or it's a bunch of girls and a new girl comes in, you want the person you're supposed to get married to to still choose you even if a new person comes up to be an option? Yes, yeah, so it's like literal like, oh, so some girl hits on you while you're out. Yeah, you I think choose up. it doesn't matter. You want, you want them to have all of the opportunities. Honestly, if you're feeling threatened, you know it's not in the bag. So you're going home anyways. This girl's just giving you like an early out. That's true. So I got a local delicacy. Actually, I got this because she told me it was the most like a sea bass. This is called a hogfish. And I know that doesn't sound appetizing, but it is very good. And they have this like kind of like lemon butter sauce with rice and veggies. And then we both got the salad. And then Joe, healthy Joe over here got the salmon. Bad boy. With. <laughs> yeah. The salmon with veggies. It actually looks really good. Mm -hmm. Really healthy. The salad's really good. Oh, I need it. I need to eat mine. Dear Jacinia, you don't get a rose this week. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Matt. Joe hates Jacinia. We both like Michelle. I feel like they get along, but I don't say, I wouldn't say I like her the most. She literally looks like she doesn't want to be here. I know. He's like a chin talk. He does this. <laughs> They're here to get famous on Instagram. Not for that. I wonder when he cut his hair, because he had dreads before. Did he? I mean, like, they showed like his like college football days. He had dreads. <laughs> I've been tapped in. Okay. <laughs> you really haven't paid attention. He oddly likes her. That's what I'm saying. Why? <laughs> she doesn't show any affection. That's he feels why. like he's in the friend zone. That's probably why. I don't think she's she's cute, but I don't think she's like the cutest. Joe, <laughs> 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 no, I am not putting that in there. <laughs> Half of this I can't put in there because you're so offensive. What do you mean? No, I'm being real. Let the people see. We've been inspired and we're practicing tantric yoga. Though I don't think this move is tantric yoga. Wait, wait, wait. Look at your poop. Okay. Tantric yoga. Saying that, <laughs> I... Come on. <laughs> 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 Too big. I, I can't support you. My ankles are gonna break. <laughs> I'm scared that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> my legs. <laughs> okay. No, I'm having a blast. I am. <laughs> Alright my guys, I got my Publix sandwich. Joe's eating his lunch number one over there and then he got a Publix sandwich too. Actually he got a wrap, but same thing. So I got turkey, cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle, mayo on five grain wheat. What do you think about that? It's no Jersey Mike's. <laughs> mm, that's better. I also have my Suja lemon water with cayenne and stevia. Okay, tell us how your day was. Well, I started working out at 7.45 in the morning. I was at Starbucks. We had a morning meeting. I went back in to get treatment. Got some treatment. I had stretch, like cats, you get a little pitcher's yeah. defense. And then we had to run bow and arrows, for like three quarters. Like run, day. like fast run or jog I mean, too? you don't have to sprint, but like run. The jo like the jog is like a very slow jog. Cause mm -hmm. you're doing eight of these. Oh, I saw a massage therapist. I worked on my legs. I sat in the hot tub for like 15 minutes or so. And then I got and I got breath. So my food. I waited for my mom to pick me up. You did a lot of stuff. Yeah, so I'm so tired every day and hangry because I don't eat. Well, I did 30 minutes of abs and I cut it short to 20 because I got sick of doing planks. That's all I did. I sat here in this chair and worked. You wanna know what happened? <laughs> she wasted his time. <laughs> this is what you guys do. Waste guys time. Waste their time. You think that's funny? Alright. We are headed out for the last night. We're gonna go to Bukan. Bukan question mark. A lot of y'all said to go to this place, but we couldn't get an outdoor table until tonight. So we're gonna go tonight. I'm wearing this cute crop from Princess Polly that I showed y'all earlier. And we're headed out and we're kinda late, so Joe's waiting for me. I got the tuna crisp to start and I got this cute watermelon martini. Joe got his typical tequila mule. Tarragon, uni butter, crab meat, and a tomato water uni. That looks good. All right, we got the sweet corn pasta of some sort and then the squid ink pasta, which is definitely going to be my favorite. And then I also got this tea that has like vodka in it or something. Not really sure, but it looks great. Also, I guess I'm officially starting my whole diet habit tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I already have like a full <laughs> box of pasta. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so I went for Joe not having gluten. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier. I'm like, I'm about to just eat this whole box of pasta. <laughs> I think it started going downhill with the candy. Well, yeah. <laughs> Joe's back from practice early. I thought I was gonna have to Uber to the airport, but no. What time's your flight maybe, girl? Well, I have to leave. <laughs> 12 10. So you're saying I should have stayed to feel <laughs> You were so close <laughs> to no! not having to drive me to the airport. <laughs> okay, my friends, the time has come. The time has come. I'm about to head to the airport in about 10 minutes. My chauffeur is over here. <laughs> So I hope you liked coming along on a half week of my life in Palm Beach with Joseph. 
thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. And this week has been very fun. I can't wait to come back next month. Joe's very excited for me to come back. He's gonna be so lonely by himself here for a month. He's like, I'm gonna play video games for a month straight. <laughs> So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to come find me on Instagram at Peyton Sartin. And I will see you guys in the next video.